to floss or not to floss? That is the question. Recent reports are questioning everything Dennis have always told us about the benefits of cleaning between our teeth. So we decided it was time to ask an expert. Please welcome Dr. Stuart Ross. Dr. Ross, I know you're very familiar with that article in the New York Times that said that there were no benefits to flossing. Is that true? Well, it said there were no long-term studies that showed it. It's, it's pulling a word out. There's, <laughs> there's different kinds of studies. There are prospective and retrospective studies. Mm -hmm. In a prospective study, one tries to look forward and say, okay, what's going to happen in a retrospective study? We look, what did happen? Okay. Well, looking retrospectively, we know people who didn't brush and floss had dental disease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, to create a good study, you would have to say, okay, this half of the country can't floss for the next 20 years, and then we'll compare them. Well, I want to move to the other side of the country, yeah. so <laughs> you can't do it that way. Well, when you said, like, dental disease, weren't there other studies that said people with dental disease have other issues, like heart disease? Sure. There's a, first of all, the most prevalent disease in the United States today is dental disease. Oh, really? Okay, I mean, think about it. Everyone has some extent of it much more common than the common cold, etc. So when you flush, you're getting the plaque out from your teeth? Yeah, the plaque has been correlated to have all sorts of systemic factors. Mm -hmm. It creates inflammation. Inflammation, in turn, has been connected to cardiovascular disease, malignancies, osteoporosis, and diabetes. Also, low preterm birth weights. Wow. So it, the whole thing is to try to get the inflammatory factors down. Oh. Are there we, different kinds of plaque? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. The, the thing is, if, if I have the plaque that causes periodontal disease, I'm going to get periodontal disease. If I have a lot of plaque that causes cavities, I'm going to get cavities. If I have both, I'm going to be blessed with both. If I have neither, I'm going to be pretty healthy. Mm. So to take the whole population, it tends to skew the factors quite dramatically. So how many times a day would you recommend we floss? Well, I recommend you remove plaque thoroughly one time a day, okay. minimum. A lot of people will say two times and they'll settle for the one. Yeah, right. they don't do it as well. Show uh -huh. us the right way to do it. Okay. We want expert advice here. Okay, first of all, first thing I'm going to put on my bib. They put told us we on. have to wear bibs, doctor. Well, not when you're home. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. They just like us to look silly. Wow. Now, get yourself about a yard's worth of dental floss. Okie dokie. I got Wrap that. it around your first finger. Okay. Okay, and then take your middle fingers and put it on top like that tight rope walking on top of the floss. Okay. Tight rope walking on top. All right. Now, the first no is you don't Wait. pop it between your contacts. If you ever used a hand saw, yep. if you saw gently, it goes through. If you saw hard, it binds. Same thing with floss. So you're going to saw gently back and forth between your teeth and let it gently go in between the teeth. Saw oh, you, gently. You just don't pop it up like that. Exactly, because oh. then you're going to then you're going to hurt your gums. Okay, that's where I went wrong. Are you in uh. trouble? <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. 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 Once you've done that, now you wrap it around the teeth. If you just keep it straight like this. Uh -huh. What's going to happen? You're only going to get a little point. Right. If you instead wrap it, I'm like trying to show you this. <laughs> this is more complicated than I, I didn't know. Oh, really. yeah. If you wrap it properly and go oh. up and down, you get a larger surface. Like this? Uh-oh. You're yeah. around both sides. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Now you You're got it. You're going to pull one out. <laughs> just good TV. <laughs> and w once you're down on one side of the tooth, you lift it up gently. <clears throat> put it on the other side of the same contact and wrap it around that contact. So is flossing wrong as bad as not flossing? Because I think all of us are probably flossing wrong at home. I think that's true. I, I often say to my patients, floss in the hands of an uninstructed patient is a death weapon. Oh. I mean, so you need to know how to do it properly. I mean, you can go today, you go online, uh, you can find anything from Dr. Google. That's and although great. you can go to sarasotadentalspecialties.com and find out all this information. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Stewart. Of course, Thank you, you can find out how to floss and find out about all of your dental problems there, sarasotadentalspecialties.com.